Warriors NRL Fanatics here back today with a video and this is going to be my West Tigers versus New Zealand Warriors round free game review. It's just finished not long ago. Look, i got to say, I was extremely nervous going into this game and I was nervous for the whole game, the first half and the second half. Boy, both teams, you know, really made it hard for their fans to sit and watch and lots of errors, but... The stats did say that the West Tigers did make more errors and, you know, the Warriors in that second half made it a little bit difficult, you know, with the Sinbins and that Sinbin by Montoya was really not needed. But I'm going to go through the game now from the first half to the second half and um, give my thoughts and my man of the match. So it started off in the 35th minute in the first half. Chanel has to beat a kick, finds the end goal area and the Warriors get the first opportunity with the ball but the next set Josh Curran knocks it on and we miss an opportunity there now in 32 minutes into the half and James Tamo scores an easy try through the middle of the Warriors defense very soft from us there and they take an early 6-0 lead and on to 27 minutes in a cross field kick from Chanel Harris Tavita Marcelo Montoya bats the ball back and Ewan Aiken scores in the left-hand corner. And Rhys Walsh converts the try and it is 6-all. 30 minutes into the first half, Tigers make a meal of the high ball from the Warriors. It was a Chanel Harris to be a kick again. And Adam Pompey jumps up to score it. And the Warriors take the lead 12-6 after Rhys Walsh conversion. Now going into 5 minutes into the second half, the Warriors decide to take the two points, and I think this was a great decision. I think it was a good decision just to extend that lead out to um, 14 to 6, and they did that. Reese Walsh took, took that kick, and he got it. And the West Tigers do manage to score back, score back a minute before the break, and at halftime, the score was 14 points to 10, now, the second half, barely any action in the second half. 25 minutes into the second half, Rich Walsh takes another two points to extend the lead to four. Now, I, I thought we should have gone for the try at that stage. You know, the first one before the break, I understand that, but I thought we should have taken the try and gone for the try instead. But at the end of the day, that, that penalty proved vital, that penalty goal in the... In the context of this game full time West Tigers 12 New Zealand Warriors 6 and we get our first win at Campbelltown Stadium since 2007 now before giving a man of the match in this game there's a couple of controversial calls that I've got to say they did go our way a bit there you know the one with Luciana Leilua you know it, it was a try in my opinion now I'll take my Warriors tinted glasses off and say that should have been a try. I don't know what the bunker was thinking there. And yeah, the Tigers unfortunately had a call go against them. You know, the scoreline could have been a lot different going into half time. And it, it is a shame, but look, that's that's up to the referees to make the decision. And, and they probably got that completely wrong. But there's a few, quite few questionable decisions in this game, both ways, both teams' ways. And. At the end of the day, we get the win, 16-12. It wasn't pretty. It was a very ugly game with lots of mistakes, but we got the job done. That was the main thing. We needed to get a win in this game, and we did it, and we got our first two points of the season. But going into who I think should be man of the match in this one for the Warriors, look, I'm going to give it to Chanel harris Tavita, and I've got to say that coming to, into the season... You know, Shana Harris Tavita, look, last week against the Titans, he had a quiet one, but he definitely tried his best. He wasn't terrible. But in this game, I think he had a great game. So I'm gonna give my man of the match to Shana Harris Tavita. And yeah, his kicking game really got us across the line in this one. So look, in terms of game stats, I'm gonna read quickly through the game stats now. So position was West Tigers 51%, Warriors 49%, completion rates. 75% Tigers, Warriors 72, um, completed sets, Tigers 33, Warriors 27, 
Now, all running meters, West Tigers did make the mo most running meters. So, look, 1,641. Warriors only made 1,447. Uh, post contact meters, Warriors 500. And the West Tigers 531. And line breaks here, yeah, West Tigers made more line breaks with 4 1. And missed tackles. Warriors 30 missed tackles, West Tigers 10. Still defensively is a massive concern. We need to fix the defense. I said it like the first two games of the season, and that's still a bit of a worry for us moving forward. So that needs to be looked at a bit more there. And penalties conceded, seven Warriors, nine Tigers. And most tackles, Wade Egan with the most tackles for the Warriors, 45. And four most running meters, Reese Walsh, 155. And Reese Walsh with one line break as well. But that wraps up my New Zealand Warriors vs. West Tigers round three game review. Um, let me know what you think of the game down in the comment section below. Who was your standout Warriors player? And uh, yeah, look, Brisbane Broncos next week. We're going to need to be a lot better. Look, I know it's a win, but you know it's still not 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 the greatest of performances at the end of the day. But yeah, look, we get the win, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think, how you thought, how you thought the game was down in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't already done so and you're watching all these videos, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Hit that red subscribe button because it'll be much appreciated and it helps out the channel massively as, yeah, look, getting close to 1K subscribers as well. So make sure you subscribe and it's free as well. Also, don't forget to click the thumbs up on the video, click that like button, click the bell so you don't miss a notification when I go live on the YouTube channel next or when I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.